just really looking to see if this this gold lower high is the one. I mean, this one, the, the reset's obvious. It's still there. It's a nice range. It's broken out. It's pulled back, and it's not made a higher high yet. So, you know, if that contains itself and this becomes our, our new lower high right here, then, you know, on this scale, we had the trade. It was quite a quite a little trade right there because it wasn't that significant. Uh, the, the level one trigger appeared, but I mean, it wasn't, you know, massively significant when you look up at your uh, M8 chart there. All right, so we had that trade. Uh, if you use that to take the gold, then you're still in this trade anyway, and, you know, you're just waiting to see it run. If you took this trade as a, as a lime and you're, you've been in and out, then we're looking to get back in and, you know, have a much more significant looking turn on the color change up top here uh, so you know continuation are uh, down on our entry chart level as we're looking at it we're obviously looking for a leaning ghost situation seems to be maintaining its momentum so this is a, a decent area it's mirror flip of course we never I never look at angles without horizontals so but they do combine uh, most of the time so uh, it's not a bad area for the continuation and you know, that could certainly be a potential very next trade here. If we don't get a nice trigger, um, then certainly it might head on down and we can continue trading the trend and, and take the breakout instead. Um, if it decides to pull back a little further, then clearly this is our area in question, uh, the box essentially to really determine if this is going to be the lower high on the gold. And so we'd be heading down like in that fashion instead. Uh, we did get a nice trigger. It was a, a fast line entry, triple pattern trigger there right at the Euro open. Uh, if you wanted to wait a couple more waves after the Euro open, then you could have entered there and use that triple pattern as your trade. Plenty of room for the one-to-one. -one. Um, and then the breakout set up right away with a beautiful pattern to, to break out. And there's another trade for you right there. And then it pulled back and gave us a lovely setup for uh, a line level high-low breakout. And of course, that was your next trade right there. So, you know, a few trades to choose from there, all very straightforward with you know no hesitation, just everything flowing as it should. Now, if you got into this trade yesterday as a gold turn, as we said, uh, we had a nice range right there. It was then broken and came back and we had the confirmation. So if you're trading this as a, uh, a golden wave, then your entry was you know, way back here, this was your entry. Um, and due to the setup, you actually had a really short stop loss on the trade also. Um, once again, you know, we've got this huge move on the daily and certainly it's looking for its base. Um, you know, it's down bouncing off that 150 area. So it's a big, big key area, a lot of decisions to be made here. So certainly shooting for the higher low and there's a quite a bit of congestion up here and so it's actually a nice place to be taking profit even as a gold trade. Uh, that would of course give you some really insane risk reward on the trade. Uh, it's like a four or five to one so beautiful trade there for those that had the patience for trading the gold level.